Okay, today is Thursday, July 17th, and I'm heading over to City Hall. Uh, in the meantime, I wanted to uh, bring up some more information and follow up with what has been happening with uh, St. Mary's uh, Hospital where I was denied emergency care. Uh, today is, uh, like I said, July 17th. Sorry about all the noise. Let me get away from this intersection. The lights just changed. Um, today is July 17th. Uh, I still have not received any follow-up back from St. Mary's Patient Relations. <coughs> uh, patient Relations. <coughs> patient Relations. <coughs> because naturally, Patient Relations has nothing to do with patient advocacy, patient concern, patient health, or anything else. It is simply a risk management tool. Uh, the questions that need to be asked in regard to this is that since the denial of emergency services happened, you've seen my attempts at going in and trying to file a complaint so that it can be investigated through St. Mary's, you know, internal hospital procedure, which of course is, like I said, risk management a go-go. Um, the interesting part is, like I said before in the past, you know, I have been written and told you know, that I will not be getting a meeting with the required person because of videotaping. They've not answered as to what law I'm breaking. They've not answered, you know, as to the fact that it's not illegal for me to videotape. They've not answered to the fact that as a disabled person seeking, you know, uh, access and accommodation, I'm not being allowed. They have not answered. Well, you know, this is the three D's of risk management, deflect, defer, and deny. Uh, you have to remember that this is similar to what I've received from all the city agencies. You need to just ask yourself, you know, what did I receive from Kruger when I was abandoned a year ago? Oh, as a matter of fact, what have I received from, you know, Miss Kruger for the last three weeks, you know, after the 624 meeting in which you know, she once again professed to have such concern for my medical welfare. Um, it would be the same thing that I would probably hear from St. Mary's, you know, risk management team. We really, really, really care, but, you know, so what? Has there been, you know, an allowance for me to come in even though I'm not breaking the law and give my complaint? Are they interested in, you know, being responsible and accountable and transparent. Is this a game? Is it a ruse? Is it an illusion? You know, are they serving their true purpose? Oh, and you know, the most uh, horrifying question I think should be, let me see if I have this right. You're intimidated by a camera when someone is coming in to file a complaint. Uh, the intimidation factor is based on what? that you might be caught out not doing your job correctly? I mean, I just truly, truly, in all of God's creation, cannot even fathom the excuse as far as, you know, saying it's about, you know, invasion of privacy. Excuse me, this is a public hospital. I'm seeking public services. It is my privacy that's being invaded. They are there to perform a function. Oh, uh, learn the games watch the inhumanity and ask yourself after all these videos what has been the consequence to anyone other than the living dead correct victim myself again learn the games watch the inhumanity and i will continue to follow up and post to show you that even at god's hospital truth justice Dignity, all do not apply.